Hello and welcome to this play guide video of Kardoku, head to head Sudoku. Sudoku is a 9 by 9 magic square puzzle that first appeared on November 19th, 1892. It was designed by Howard Garns and first published in Dell Magazine as the game Number Place. Maki Kaji, president of the Nikoli Puzzle Company, published a puzzle in the Nikolist in April 1894 as Suji wa Dokushin na Kajiri, which translates to the digits are limited to one occurrence. The name was later abbreviated to Sudoku. That generic puzzle game called Number Place eventually became a worldwide phenomenon. We see here the original Dell magazine and its cover that it originally appeared in and Number Place, the, the game as it was first seen. Karduku falls into the puzzle genre of games, and in this category of game, it involves solving a puzzle. They're the category of game that requires some sort of thinking during gameplay, usually involving deduction or logic, and puzzle games come in a variety of forms from simple to complex. Karduku setup and objective. The objective of Karduku is that it's a head-to-head -head puzzle game based on Sudoku concepts. Players each have a tech deck, and they play into a common 9x9 tableau or uh, grid play area. Players compete against each other to complete rows, columns, and 3x3 boxes. And as they complete those rows, columns, and boxes, they score points. Karduku requires that each player use their own tech deck, and you can play Karduku with either two tech decks or three. The game ends when either players have no more cards in hand or there are no more possible plays. The flow of game setup. First, you'll create teams. So you can play head-to-head -head or in teams if you have more than three players, divide the players into two teams. You'll set up the decks. You can play with either two or three tech decks. If you play with two deck decks, each player or team has one deck. If you play with three, add a random domain suit to each player's deck from the third deck. Then you're going to expel or remove all the wild cards and all the cards of value 10 or higher from each player's deck. Then you're going to seed the play area. Karduku is played in the 9x9 grid for all the cards. You'll randomly deal one seed card into each 3x3 box in a different row and column from the other cards that have already been laid down. You'll alternate between using one player's deck and another. You can use a grid sheet, for example, from Tech Chess or some other face down cards to help visualize the 9x9 grid if that helps. And, you'll, and then each player is going to draw 10 cards into their hand from their respective decks. Then you're going to randomly determine a first player uh, and give them a first player marker. We see here in step three that Kardoku, which is played on a 9x9 grid, you'll randomly deal one seed card into each 3x3 three three box with uh, each card in a different row and column from the other cards. You'll alternate between using one player's deck and another. So this is an example of seed to start the game. You'll notice that, for example, the seven of gear that's in the first row and first column there's no other card in that first row or first column, and it's the only card in that upper three by three box. The same with all the other seed cards. The flow of game setup here, we see visually the, the steps in game setup. Where you, well, number one, create teams. You'll two, you'll set up the decks. Three, you'll expel the cards. Four, you'll seed the play area. Five, you'll draw 10 cards into each uh, player's hands. And then six, you'll determine a first player and give them a first player marker. Gameplay. There are four basic steps to the flow of gameplay. You'll draw a card, you'll make a play, you'll score, and then you'll check for end of game. Each turn a player does the following. They'll draw a card from their play deck, they'll make a play. A player may either play a card, move a card, or swap two cards. If you play a card into the tableau, the value of that card must be unique in the row, column, and 3x3 box. Move a card. If there are no cards in your deck, a player can move a card. Swap two cards. If there's no cards in your deck, you can swap two cards. Scoring. A player scores a point where they complete a 3x3 box, row, and or column. Check for end of game. If the game did not end, hit play passes to the next player. Making a play. Play a card. A player must play a card into the 9x9 tableau. The tableau is composed of nine 3x3 boxes. The play must follow Sudoku rules. That is the value of the card you play must be unique in the row, column, and 3x3 three three box. The domain or suit of the card doesn't matter. Move a card. If a player has no cards left in their deck, they can move a card instead of playing a card. 
locked cards cannot be moved. A card is locked if the row, column, or 3x3 box that it is in has nine cards in it. To move a card, place it in any empty position in the tableau. The placement must follow Sudoku rules. The value of the card placed must be unique in that row, column, and 3x3 box. Swapping two cards. If a player has no cards left in their deck, they can swap two cards instead of playing a card. Lock cards may not be swapped. To swap two cards, exchange the placement of two cards in the tableau, and the placement of each card must follow Sudoku rows. The value of the cards must be placed in the unique, uh, must be unique in the row, column, and three by three box. Here we see an example of a play. Team one here plays the two of science into the first column, fourth row. And <clears throat> there are no other value two cards in the first column, fourth row, or that three by three box, so it's a legal play. Karduku scoring. During your turn, if you complete a row, column, and or three by three box, you'll score one point. It's possible to score more than one point in turn if you simultaneously complete a row, column, and or three by three box. In a two deck game, you'll score on rows or columns with a sequence of one through eight or two through nine. And in three deck games, you'll use fully completed rows, columns, and 3x3 three three boxes with nine cards. An example of scoring. So in that previous play we just saw, where the two of science was placed into the first column, the fourth row, the, the team here would score two points. They score a point on the first column if playing with a two-deck game, or a, three de uh, a two-deck game where basically you have a completed a, 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 row, a sequence of two through nine, They'll score a point on that left central three by three box because it, there's nine cards in it now. And <clears throat> they will not score on that fourth, fourth row because it's missing a five value card. The end of game. The end of game uh, ends when either the players uh, have no more cards in their hand or there are no more possible plays. Here we see an example of the end of game. A two deck game uh, versus a three deck game will have a, a slightly different look to it. In a two deck game, you'll have nine open positions. There are 81 positions in a, a, a nine by nine grid, um, but in a two deck game, you'll only be able to fill out 72 of those. Um, and in a three deck game, uh, here we see an example of a, of a fully um, fully filled out tableau where there was <clears throat> the, the both players were able to 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 play until the, the board was full. And you'll notice that each uh, row, column, and three by three box has cards in it ranging from one through nine. They're not, not repeated. The tech deck concept. The tech deck has three basic concepts. It modernizes playing cards, bringing them into the 21st century. You can use it for any classic card game. Unique card game effects create interesting interactions and provide replayability. It's versatile and portable. The small form factor is easy to carry. Wherever you are, whomever you're with, and wherever, you, whenever you would like, you can enjoy gaming. Games that are long and short, casual and serious. The Tech Deck is a game platform you can play many games with. It'll appeal to many different audiences, speaking to hardcore gamers, non-gamers, party settings, and family settings. We see here an example of a Tech Deck card, the six of technology software, and has a traditional playing card index as well, an inventor, related invention, game effect, and card image. There are uh, uh, nine previous games that were that were released um, into the Tech Deck family of games, and Karduku joins this family as the 10th game. Tech Grid Poker is two-dimensional poker. Tech City is a um, tile laying game where the, the cards, the Tech Deck cards represent buildings and services that people can use the game effects from. Tech Exchange is a stock exchange game. Uh, Tech Chess is a chess variant game where the Tech Deck cards represent chess pieces that players move on a, on a, on a board. Um, Gears of Industry, each player uniquely customizes their own deck to play against each other in a head-to-head -head game. Elevator Pitch associates two tech deck cards to, to form a, a company um, or venture, and players deliver an elevator pitch uh, to the other players. Cardle head-to-head uh, -head code breaking, where um, each player has a tech deck and they're trying to break each other's six-digit code represented by tech deck cards. Chronological is a timeline game where players play um, tech deck cards into an ever-growing timeline, naming the concept, the date, the inventor, and the invention. Peer-to-peer -peer is a, is a semi-cooperative deck building game where 
players start with a simple deck and grow it over time. Each of the tech deck games speaks to a different genre of gaming. Tech Grid Poker is a, is a poker variant game. Tech City is a tile laying game. Tech Exchange is a real time uh, genre game. Tech Chess falls into the strategy genre of games. Gears of Industry is a personalized card game. Elevator Pitch is a party game and idea generation tool. Cardal is a head to head um, code breaking game that is falls into the deduction family of games. Chronological is an educational and history based game. Peer to peer is a deck building game. So thank you for watching this video. Be sure to head over to my website where you can learn more about all the other um, tech deck games, family of games, and be able to download the rules <coughs> and watch videos. Um, there's also entries in Board Game Geek for all of the tech deck games where you can um, get, uh, as, get resources for, for them for the games and to also check out my YouTube channel where you can watch all the all the videos of how to play the other tech deck games. So thank you for watching this video.